Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 28th, 2021. So let's see what we have today. There's a card right there. A new start is coming, new moon. So use today as a time to lay down the old way. We talk about it all the time, but here you go. Maybe there's some huge breakthrough for you. But you need to take action towards this new start. Now that doesn't mean pushing. It doesn't mean forcing. Yes. Anytime we put a forceful energy around something goes right out of our existence. And then we're like, what happened? <laughs> this is more about being settled, whole and complete within yourself. That's where your fresh beginning can come from. Why? You have a new perspective. You know that the way I've been doing things, there's a healthier way. You know, hey, I shouldn't be eating so much sugar. I did this the other night where I like didn't realize how much sugar I was taking. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I looked on the label and I was like, enough of this. You know, we have to be more aware of how we are treating ourselves. And we're talking about from like an emotional, mental and spiritual standpoint, what sort of energy do we put out? And what comes back to us? There's a feeling here. I, I heard, I just heard just now that there's the end of the sting. So there's like this stinging energy that goes projecting out and then there's a stinging energy that comes back. So this is someone who's like, you know what, I'm really angry. I'm gonna put my anger on you. And now the, somebody else is responding with their anger. Or you know what, um, I have this thing going on and so I'm gonna push this energy out there. Maybe it's very controlling, maybe it's very demanding, whatever it is. And then that's going to get reflected back. Usually that gets reflected back by way of rebellion. This is also, if, if you are someone who is toxic and you're on your spiritual path, you're just getting started, welcome. <laughs> and that's all well and good. But I think this is part of the new start is realizing that's no way to be. You know, we don't want to be coming at people with toxicity and harshness or whatever. I don't want to use people and I want them to use me. Um, I don't want to find escapism through some people are workaholics or um, relationship aholics, right? They have to like constantly get validation from other people. Am I okay yet? Am I okay yet? Am I okay yet? This is the end of that if you choose it. Some people will get scared. They see a fresh start coming and they go, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not sure I'm ready to let go of this. Or no, 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 I'm not sure if everything will be okay if I choose this new way. Is it too late for me? I just heard, is it too late for me though? It's never too late for an individual to grow. It's never too late to find peace and grace and harmony. All those things that we talk about all the time. Has time expired on old behaviors? Yep, long time ago. Maybe today's the day you catch up, <laughs> right? But this, for some people out there, I mean, you might even wake up with this very kind of wonderful feeling of, yes, like today's the day that I'm going to start something new. I'm going to really start taking care of myself or I'm really going to start being mindful of any judgment I put on people or trying to tear people down so that I can own them and control them. Or maybe for you, it's lighter. I, I have my walls up and I might come at somebody because I'm so afraid of getting hurt. Right? I mean, we could go on and on and on with all the examples, but you have to choose this. It really is that kind of day. It's like, what do you want? I'm going to put this in here too. This just flipped over. It's from another deck. <laughs> Gold attract abundance. The number is 21. Reduces to three. Wisdom, higher wisdom. Okay. So gold, what, what are your real priorities? What is, if you want to say it like, what are the golden threads in my life? That's an interesting thing to ask yourself. What really matters to me? If you're a parent, you say, my kids. Okay, well, your children, if you've been a lovely parent, um, will love you as much as you love them. They're concerned for you. They want you to be happy too. And so you have to be an example, it feels, I don't know why this is coming up for parents out there. Hi. Um, <laughs> but you have to be an example of how to come through, how to overcome, how to find, you know, yourself, 
really, to remember yourself. That's about, that's about the most abundant thing that you could possibly do. And this is also asking us to consider what are the other forms of abundance? Because, you know, we could say abundance is money. It's having the big fancy house and the fancy car status, you know, that's abundance. But at the end of the day, do you feel loved? At the end of the day, are you expressing love? Or are you in a quagmire? Are you, are you in a mess where you, don't, you lose yourself in that? Disintegrating, feeling like you disintegrate when it comes to personal relationships. Or if you're somebody who's the opposite, you know, you're really in a love partnership, but you don't believe in yourself, maybe, or you self-sabotage. And so you don't go after things that, you know, it's, again, it's not from an ego standpoint. It's like, I'm going to go after that so I can be famous, or I'm going to go after that so I, I have status and money and all that stuff. And those, are not, those aren't bad things. They don't have to be. It depends on who is getting them and what they're doing with it. There are people out there who abuse their power, uh, but... This is you getting, this fresh start is you kind of honing in on what is of real value in your life. If you've attained some goal, do you realize now that you are not fulfilled? Do you then, I get this all the time, (laughs) go to someone who's like a practitioner, especially an open, sensitive, kind, (laughs) warm um, person and say, you're, you're for me because I need you to fill this void for me. It's more common than anybody is recognizing where we want to feed off of each other. And you're not really taking into account like how you're maybe harming this person just so long as your needs are met. There's something about letting that go or I have to have this kind of job or I don't have abundance I don't have blah, 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 but you're miserable at the end of the day. It's not what you really want to do. And it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to leave what you've always known or um, hard to try a new way or open your heart to a new perspective. But you know what? We really are coming into a time where the old way is not working. I've been saying that for years and years and years. And each individual Little by little, everyone's on their own path. They're discovering that and they're opening up to that. Now, this could be, these are wonderful cards. <laughs> if you allow them to be wonderful, what will you do for you? What are your priorities? What are the new goals here? And not material goals. How are you going to show up? How are you going to embrace this gift of life that you've been given. How may you serve? That's the most important question for you to ask. So if you're enjoying this content, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video. If you'd like a personal reading, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. And if you would like to join the meditation challenges with Archangel Michael or Metatron, those are now available over at gumroad.com angelsouls. Have a beautiful day and I'm sending you all so much love and take care.